Monstrous sends players to ancient Greece as mystical creatures stomp through famous Greek locales. Players win by throwing and activating cards to gather the most points by the end. Monstrous is a $30 game that can be found online for around $25. In the box, players will find 56 faith tokens, 5 sets of 13 cards, 5 god boards, 11 location cards, and a rulebook. The tokens look cheap, although they feel solid and are a bit too big for the purpose they serve. The cards are of fine quality and hold up well, considering they will be repeatedly tossed across the table. The god boards are like walls of text, providing a glossary that feels unnecessary and too irritating to use. The rulebook spells out the information well enough, although there are 24 pages of information for a rather simple and straightforward game. On a player's turn, they will take one of the cards from their hand and throw it on the table, attempting to make it touch others in order to get certain effects. If they succeed in touching any cards, various effects will be activated. Oh my god! Oh. So first, I hit a location, I gain one faith. Mm -hmm. Now what does this do with you? Wait, yeah, you hit a location. Take one faith from a god with a monster hitting, which there's none, so that doesn't, but I get another four. So I'm at all of five faith. Oh my god! <laughs> Traps will cause thrown cards to do things for other players. The card thrown will have abilities that may activate when touching locations or other monsters, and locations provide points and effects if touched. Unless that player has extra throws, it is the next player's turn. And that's the whole game. Play continues until someone runs out of cards, and after everyone else gets one more turn, whoever has the most points wins. So, Monstrous is definitely a game that exists. Um, if there's one thing I can say that's positive about it, it's that the artwork on the cards are very nice, uh, very stylized, they evoke Greek mythology and the great monstrous creatures that existed. Uh, but yeah, no, this game is pretty bad. It's mindless, it's tedious, you're throwing cards on a table, and trying to hit other cards. A lot of turns you're going to miss your mark and a card's just gonna sit there on the table and that's the end of your turn. And you know, knowing what the different locations and cards do is nice, but it really doesn't matter. You're just throwing cards at a table until things happen. Um, it's really boring and just not, it's not an enjoyable game. And what's weird, what boggles my mind is that this isn't the first time this game was made. A few years back, AEG released uh, a game called Maximum Throwdown, which basically they took the art assets from Smash Up and um, Doom Town and other such games, and they put them on cards, and they put a bunch of symbols on the back sides of the cards, and you throw cards on the table, and if those symbols are uncovered at the start of your next turn, uh, cool things happen for you. That's the whole game. Um, but at least in that game, those symbols had, you know, meaning that could be readily seen and evaluated and utilized. In Monstrous, you have to be pushing other cards out of the way to read the text and try to see around all the different artwork to figure out what everything does. It's It's visually so distracting and frustrating to play there's nothing fun about it. I'm not recommending this game. Um, the value of it is fine, whatever, but it's not worth the money for the game regardless. Monst <sighs> and the, the crazy thing is, is that Monstrous was kickstarted, released, and then Cool Mini or Not decided, hey, this looks like a good game, so they picked it up and continued to publish it. This is a $30 game that exists on the market, and it really shouldn't. Um, I wish I liked this game more. I love Greek mythology, I love, you know, the ideas of it, and while I'm not a huge fan of dexterity games, you know, it's a simple enough game that there was some potential, but no. This game is just mindless and, and frustrating, and it's not worth your time. Don't spend money on it. Go and get something else, anything else. Just don't buy this game. So those are my thoughts on Monstrous. What do you all think? Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw here. And uh, check us out on Facebook, gamesontape.com, uh, the Sorry Man I Farted YouTube channel, 
And until next week, or whenever, I'll see y'all next time.